Hey guys, this is KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Let's Play. This is episode 8. And um, when last video we made the Sagmail and the Alloy Smelter, we made a couple of survival ge generators. Um, they don't seem to be going that well. They seem a little, I don't know, a little slow. Uh, I don't think we're going to worry about that at the moment. Um, we're just going to let them do their things because I promised you guys I'd be doing Tinker's uh, construct. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going. It's just going slow. So we'll be, we'll leave those alone for now, and um, you know we'll just let them let them do their thing. All right. So Tinker's construct. I, I'm very new to this, so any tips you guys have uh, would be greatly appreciated. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is I don't remember what the stuff's called. So here it is. Yeah, seared bricks. All right, so we're gonna need seared, seared, yep, seared bricks. That's it, right? No, we're gonna need grout. There we go, that's what we need. All right, we're gonna need some grout. So let's throw all our gravel up there, throw all that stuff, uh, sand, and let's go. What are we doing wrong here? Oh, because it's for clay. Well, whatever, we don't need to use that that version of it. We can use this. Th these give you the same, the same kinds. It's just, it's just a different way of doing things. Um, no, come on, no. Uh, grow, uh, like this. There we go. Okay, lock that up. And uh, can we? There we go. Shift click. Yes. Grout. Love it. I figured we ran out of sand first. Um, oh, it looks like actually we ran out of uh, clay first. So. All right, so let's put all the grout up there. And I think the grout goes like this, right? No? How does the grout go? Oh, we gotta cook it, that's right, cook it. Into a smelter, okay. Oh boy, so this is gonna be a problem with the smelter because this damn thing is slow as hell. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to replace this. And we're gonna take that stuff out of there. Okay, so this is what's happening. Uh, this is an alloy smelter. It's pulling from this chest right here, and this chest has uh, ores as well as uh, as well as dust. And what's happening is it's going to pull out the ores or the dust. We don't want it to pull out the ores because the ores we want to go into be crushed into dust, so we get you know two of the ores. Okay, I could not figure out a way to force the alloy smelter not to pull out. Uh, the ores. Um, I couldn't, if you guys have a way for the alloy smelter to not pull out ores, I want it to only pull out the dust. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So what I'm going to do is, this is, this is a pretty easy fix. I mean, it's not really a big deal. So, I don't know why I spent so much time on it trying to get it to work, but it really does not matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up a better way anyway. It's going to actually look better and everything. So the first thing we're going to do is put down the chest. Um... We could even hide all this stuff, but I'm not going to. Then we put down the the sag mill. Then we put down a, another chest. And then we put down the alloy smelter. Put the generators on top. And uh, look, it does not look better. It does not look better. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in this one. First of all, let's get the generator started. Ooh, I wonder if these lost their power. No, they didn't. This one didn't have any power. Okay, so this first one is going to be very simple. It's going to pull from the left side and push to the right. Push to the right. Pull from the left, push to the right. Piece of cake. So let's go ahead and get all of our unprocessed ores. Uh, do, 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 do. That looks pretty good. I'll grab some more in between videos, but uh, let's go ahead and just put all that stuff up there. And there you go. It's going to start doing its thing. Lead, piece of cake, got its power. It's going to push it out to over here. It's already pushed out some lead. All right, so you, my friend, you pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work, but... I, don't think, I, I get stuck on these sort of things in my let's plays. And I'm like, how do I get this to work perfectly? And I'm no, just set it up a different way. It's just easier. All right, so you, my friend, are going to push out to the right and pull from the left, and that's it. 
It's that simple. And it actually looks better. I mean, this looks like a much cleaner setup. I mean, it, it really like looks so much better. And then what we can do is to tidy it up a little bit. Just put some cobblestone down there. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And that is the setup, piece of cake. So now what we wanted to do is we wanted to go ahead and grab our grout and put that in one of these things. So grout, 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 and more grout. All right, so the grout needs to be cooked. That's right, we couldn't figure out why it wasn't cooking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go like this, and we are going to try and figure out why this is not cooking. Did it push anything out? It wasn't supposed to. It did. We'll take that out and uh, grout. There we go. Grout and more grout, and we can just put more grout in here. And this is where the dust goes as well. Um, so there you go. Okay, well, you are good to go. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything um, because I turned it off. There we go. Re active without redstone signal. Um, just go to always active. It's just easier. And then now that that's set up properly, we will go over here and have it pull from that again. So that's a setup. There we go. We got our gr we got our grout being made. Uh, that grout's going to take a while. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to work on one other thing while that Tinker's construct is getting going. We're gonna work on, an, on a better, on a better generator, and this is the generator I would have made uh, if I if I didn't want to show you guys the like lower end generators. Okay, so this is the furnace generator, and all we need is a bunch of iron. Really, we should have everything we need uh, right in here. Uh, that might not be enough iron. Let's just grab the iron from here and put it in there. That should be enough iron. So let's go ahead and check out the furnace generator. We need an iron block, piece of cake. We need a furnace. Well, we could just set that up ourselves. Let's grab some cobblestone. This is our cobblestone chest. See, I'm starting to get a little organized. It's been known to happen. All right, so you go like that. And uh, there we go. We already had a furnace set up, by the way. My bad. All right, and uh, that, there we go. Boom. All right. Now, we could probably put that... Let's put it behind, let's put it by this one for now. Actually, no, no, we're not gonna do that. Let's, let's go ahead and make a, a energy cell. I wanna, I wanna show you these energy cells. These things are really cool. They're kind of like uh, giant batteries and there's all different kinds of them. Uh, the easiest one to make is lead. So we're gonna make the lead one. So we're gonna need copper. One thing we're gonna need here is electrum ingots. And that's something new. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's have you not pull anything out of the right hand side. And I'll tell you why. Because we're going to need, uh, to make the electrum ingots, we're going to need silver, dust, and we need pulverized silver and pulverized gold. Do we have any gold in there? Uh, ooh, we do not. Well, we have some gold. We could just have it, we could just pulverize it ourselves. Oh, oh, good. We st oh, wow, that worked out perfectly, actually. Wow, that worked out really well. <laughs> okay, so this is how you make uh, electrum. You just, uh, like this, I think. Yeah. There you go. Make 14 of that. And that does have to be cooked. So we'll just put that right in there if we can. I don't think you could put it in there with this stuff. This is not getting enough power. We need to deal with the power, guys. We really do. Is this going to do anything? It's not going to do anything. All right, so let's pull these out. Um, I really wanted... I really, really, really wanted... To, I think you could even divide these like that. I really wanted to uh, to get to Tinker's Construct today, guys. It's not going to happen. I, I just need more power. It's just not working. Um, the cool thing about these batteries is uh, you can, like, store the power in them and then pick them up and take them anywhere. They're freaking awesome. Is this thing getting power? Progress, 48%. It doesn't seem like it's... Oh, it's not getting power. Yeah, I didn't think it was moving. Yeah, disabled. None. There we go. Well, it's about to get a lot of power now, so... Those Electra Mingans should come out any second now. Well, it was still making sear bricks. So, the electric ingot should come out now. Electrum, right? I think that's what they're called. Electrum. Come on. Come in. I know you're almost done. Don't make me pause the video. There we go. 
Okay, so... Uh, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need, uh, lead, glass, and redstone. Lead? Lead? Glass? Where's the glass? I think I have some glass. I don't know if I have four glass. Oh my god, where's the glass? Yeah, ooh, four glass, perfect. Alright, so where should I make this? What am I making first? The energy cell? I could probably make it in this one. Probably still... That one's full. This one's just crap. Yeah, I could, I could probably make it in this one. Let's, let's try and make it in this one. Alright, we're looking for leadstone energy cell. Okay, so you go in there. You know what? This, there might not be enough room in this. Well, maybe. Uh, there we go. Oh, never mind. There's plenty of room. We just need copper. Okay, I thought I had some copper. Um, I actually want to show you something really quick before we continue with this. Uh, I wanted some copper and I thought I had to cook some, so I went ahead and put this uh, other generator down. I'm going to show you what the difference is in these generators. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at this generator. Okay, so this generator, okay, it's, uh, burn time is what it is, 1600. Uh, it generates 80,000 RF at 5 RF a tick. Okay, now let's look at this generator. This generator is burn time is 1600. I'm, I guess, that, again, I don't know what that means, but it only generates 20,000 RF. So it's one, qu uh, one quarter of the, uh, of the, of the power, but it generates it at, yeah. So it, it generates it at eight times the amount, and it generates it it only generates a quarter of what these... So these generators are incredibly efficient and incredibly slow. I guess that's what I'm trying to I'm trying to say. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to just uh, let that do its thing. It's fine. It's fine. Let it do its thing. Okay, so we need to turn this on. It's always active. It's not pulling from anything. It needs to pull from this side. There we go. And... Uh, we're not going to get the grout this video, so I'm not going to worry about the grout right now. I'll just I'll finish up getting the grout off camera, and we will be ready to do Tinker's Construct next video. Okay, so here's the copper, and there is... That is copper, right? Oh, did I never make this? Oh, I never made the middle part. Okay, one second. Lead. There we go. Never made you. Lead. Ugh. All right, um, glass. Nah, that's the... Wrong kind of, well, I don't have any lead in there anyway, but... And the... There we go. Alright, and now... Leadstone energy cell. Thank you very much. Now this thing's awesome. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put this right next to this. Now this is kind of sloppy, but whatever. It is what it is. I'll put this right next to it. And it's not getting any power. Uh, you might have, we might have to configure it. It's got, you could change the amount of output it has, the amount of input. It's got an info panel. Um, it's got redstone things. You can turn it on and off. It's got configuration. This is the this is what we want. So I believe this is the front. So oh, these um these colors mean different things. I think blue is input. I don't know why this isn't getting any power. I would think it would, being right next to the generator. Maybe because all the power is going into this. Let's see what happens when this fills up. It's almost full. This thing should be getting power. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Maybe the red power thing? Ignored, low, high. Control, in, yeah, this should be, oh, there we go. Okay, so all the, all the power was being, uh, was going into this machine. That's why. Uh, now that that now that that machine's full, our redstone machine, our redstone uh, energy cell is getting power. Now, how do we pick this up? Um, it says effective tools a pickaxe. I thought we needed something else to pick this up. Let's pick it up with a pickaxe and see what happens. Okay, so we get it back, and it's still got its power. It does hold the power, so you can pick this thing up and move it anywhere where you need power. Very cool. Very cool. All right, I love it. I love it. So this thing is still doing its thing. This thing needs power now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll let. Uh, maybe I could put it right there. Nah, it's fine. 
let's just oh so this thing is getting cobblestone because as you uh when you're whenever you use the ore whenever you're like getting the ore you have a 15 percent chance to get the cobblestone now the cobblestone will be pulled out and turned into um it should be pulled out and turned into sand which i'm fine with you know what let's put one of these in here Again, I'm not sure exactly what this means, if it's, uh, speed. But, you know, it is what it is. Main output, everything's, everything's up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's speed. I kind of want this thing to get power first. But, no, this thing's really going fast. It might be speed. 74%. This thing will wear down eventually. Can you put multiple flint in there? Oh, you can. That's good. Okay, so everything here is good, and next video we will definitely be doing Tinker's Construct. Uh, nobody's on. I'm all by myself. Let's go take a look at the. Uh, let's go take a look at the tower here. These are the towers. Uh, Andam's built last video. Uh, well, not last video. The video before. I'm not sure if uh, you guys watched the building or if they were done, but they're pretty, pretty cool. I like them. That right there is going to be a future farm. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's just a zombie with a with a hat. Yeah, so that's going to be the future farm right there. Uh, we should probably get that going pretty soon. I'm trying to think of what I what I would need for it. Honestly, we probably don't need a farm that much. Oh, one thing one thing that's really awesome in the beginning parts of the game is bushes, berry bushes, and I didn't know about them. Uh, we were like starving the first couple episodes, and I, I never I never knew about berry bushes. I think I'll go look for some berry bushes. Actually, maybe I'll do that right now. We'll do that for the rest of the video. Um, how is this thing? Yeah, this isn't getting any more power because this thing's this thing's sucking up all the generator's power. Oh, because the generator's done. That's why. Well, let's grab some more. Let's grab a full stack of coal and just dump it in this son of a bitch. There we go. Now we come back. This uh, this leadstone energy cell should be full. Let's go to sleep, turn it to day, and uh, let's go look for some berry bushes. They're really, really nice. And, um... Oh, you can only sleep at night, huh? And the cool thing is you can make, like, little bowls of, like, fruit out of them, although I don't know how to do it. Uh, let's see if we can find it. I'm not sure if it's even called fruit. Uh don't see it here maybe it's this fruit salad no I don't know where melons are how about let's try bowl not sure exactly what it's called yeah fruit bowl I don't know I don't know I'll have to look into that but I've seen people walking around with bowls of fruit so that would be pretty cool I seem to give them a lot of a lot of stuff back, a lot of, uh... It seemed to give them a lot of, um... Hunger. So... Alright. Alright, you're good. Let's look for some of these berry bushes. Let's go somewhere we haven't been. Uh, J. Um... Let's, let's go this way. Pretty sure I haven't been over here. Yeah, if we could grab some of those bushes, we can actually bring them back to the house. That'd be pretty sweet. That'll like that'll feed us forever. They're kind of overpowered a little bit, I think. Maybe they need long longer to grow. They don't seem to take that long to grow. Okay. Ooh, what was that? Oh, that's the forestry um appetite stuff. The blue stuff. It looks really good, but it's just it's not that. It's not anything good. Yeah, appetite. Appetite. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Copper gravel. I'm always looking for... I'm always looking for copper. The hell's that? Is that part of the? What is that? Where am I? The hell's over here? There's a house over here. Look at that. I wonder if that's uh one of our people or if it's just some random house. 
Nah, it's just a random house. Yeah. Actually, I think I might have been here before. Oh, well, let's go exploring some more. Yeah, Tinker's Construct. Next video, guys, I promise. First thing I do. Alright, ooh. Is that cotton? No, mushroom. Allergies, dude. Rain it's been raining here like a few like a few days, and it's just been killing my allergies. I should have brought some food with me, damn it. I should have known like running out here sprinting around, like it just kills your food. I see any of these bushes. I'm not sure if they're in a certain biome or something, probably. What's this? Is this it? Yes, blackberry bush. See? It looks like a lot of it's been picked, but we're gonna... We're gonna take it with us. There's, a, I think there's like three or four different kinds of berries. See, blackberries. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Uh, ooh, clay. No, quarry stone. Damn it. Oh, here's some clay. No, that's stone too. It looks like clay. I don't like it. I'm actually going to grab some of this stuff anyway. Uh, the, the Tinker's Construct, like the smelter you can make, like you can make it a 2x2. Two two, but I'm eventually going to want to make a bigger one. So I'm going to need a lot more of these materials. Specifically clay and sand. Oh, is that clay? What the hell's over there? Oh, it's just a cow with a silly hat. Here we go, clay. Clay is by far the hardest thing to find out of the two. Sand is everywhere. Come to Papa. Alright, don't drown, Cage. Shut up, cow. I'm gonna need this anyway for glass. Oh, there's the timer. Alright guys, I'm going to continue looking for bushes. Uh, I'm going to cook up the rest of that uh, grout off camera and uh, get some seared brick set up and we're going to do some uh, we're gonna do some Tinker's Construct for Episode 9. So that's going to be it for Episode 8 and I'll see you next time for Episode 9. Till then, take it easy.